good morning, uh, members of St. Luke's uh, Moncha. Uh, this morning, uh, Wednesday of 25th March 2020, I want to encourage us with the word of the Lord that um, is taken from Isaiah and chapter number 41 verses number 10 and I read from NIV version so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my luscious light hand this light up and was written by Isaiah, who was a prophet. And the Lord used Isaiah uh, during this time to encourage the children of Israel who were in captivity by then. And we have learned this morning that the Lord, as much as the children of Israel were in captivity, he spoke to them by saying, do not fear. The theme of my homily this morning is fear not. We are aware of what is happening in our country and uh, the larger uh, part of this world, whereby we have corona, coronavirus with us. And we want to thank God that the government is on the forefront to guide us as citizens on the measures to take. And this morning, the Lord is speaking to us not to fear. Many are the times that um, as humanity we fear because of several issues. And especially in the context we are in right now, whereby the government is talking of people staying at home, which is a very good advice. And also, people have a lot of fear because they are not sure whether there will be total lockdown like we have seen in Italy and other areas. And maybe there are some of you outside there or you are there listening to me. And maybe you are fearing about the status of your business. Maybe you are on employment and you are fearing about your job security. Maybe some of us, you are supposed maybe to travel overseas. Maybe you had a visa which you fear maybe is expiring before you travel. Some of you maybe have family members who are far in the diaspora and maybe you are fearing what is happening to them. Some of you may be uh, fearing because you had important meetings scheduled with greater people. And maybe you have been lamenting in your heart and thinking, what will happen? But allow me to say that the Lord is our creator. He knows about all times and all seasons. In humanity, with the knowledge that the Lord has given us, we know of yesterday and today. But the Lord knows even about tomorrow because he's our creator. And therefore, this morning, as we contextualize what Isaiah told the children of Israel, and allow me to say at this point in time, that the Lord spoke to the children of Israel then through prophet Isaiah. He is speaking to us today, and he will speak to the children who will be born many years to come, because he changes not. And therefore, this text that we have read is relevant to us today. And therefore, I want to encourage us that the Lord is telling us not to fear. And allow me to say there is a positive fear and also a negative fear. What do I mean by positive fear? Positive fear is the fear of the Lord, whereby we fear him because he's um, powerful, he's holy, he is full of glory. He is omnipresent, meaning He is everywhere. Even when we are at home, the Lord is with you wherever you are at home. Or for those who are able to go out and do some few things, the Lord is with you. As you drive, 
as we use public uh, transport, even when we have the distance that we have been guided by the government, fear not. That is a positive fear when we fear the Lord. And the positive fear leads us to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit, as documented in Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. Where the Bible says, Paul was speaking to the church of Galatians and telling them that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And therefore, once we have the positive fear of the Lord, we shall even have patience as our government guides us. We shall have patience even when we are not able to congregate on Sunday corporately as we are used to. We shall have the peace of the Lord even when we are at home. Even when we may think that our businesses, our job, our children, our finances, our career, just to mention but a few, that maybe we fear we are not very sure of what is going to happen. The Lord is encouraging us to fear not. And just as we have seen in Galatians, we combine with what Isaiah was saying, that fear not, for I am with you. Allow me, members, to remind us that as I have highlighted that our God is omnipresent, he is with you wherever you are, and he will remain to be with you because he is not a respecter of men that he may change. And therefore, the negative fear is whereby we fear things that are not in line with the scripture. And negative fear is brought by Satan, whereby you may even fear that something very worse is going to happen to us. But that is this evil kingdom whispering to you that if you do this, there are those consequences. However, there are positive consequences when we fear the Lord, as we have seen, we shall bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, allow me to finish by saying, even at the darkest moment, our God remains to be present. And therefore, when the Lord says, do not be dismayed, for I am God, let us know that this God, he is a God who is full of power, and he shall be with us. And we thank God, even as we continue to pray for the government, that the Lord is watching over this country. The Lord is watching over this world because he's the one who created us. And therefore, allow me to sum up by saying that the Lord is with us even this day, the Wednesday, 25th March, the year of the Rome 2020. We need to be encouraged that the Bible talks about not to be afraid many times. And therefore, even today, do not fear because the Lord is on our side. He was with the children of Israel when they were in captivity. He is going to be with us even during this time that we are having the challenge of coronavirus. Stay at home, keep safe, maintain the regulation and the guidance that the government has given us, and the Lord is going to help us and we shall overcome this. Remember also, the children of Israel when they were read by Moses, they faced many challenges, but even when they had fear, the Lord came in handy. And we see even when they were struck by plagues, the Lord came. Even at some point, he lays a snake that everyone who was bitten was able to look at the snake and they were healed. Allow me to remind us, he is the same Jesus whom during Easter season, we are reminded that he is and he went on the cross of Calvary for us to get redemption. And therefore, we have the presence of the Lord with us. Let us not fear, but remain calm, even as we follow the guidance of the government. Be encouraged in the Lord, because the presence of the Holy Spirit is with you. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.